It could happen to anyone. It starts with a car payment or maybe an electric bill. You borrow a little just to make ends meet, just until you get your next paycheck. It sounds easy. But then you can't pay back the loan quickly because of sky-high interest rates and excessive fees. So you take out another loan to pay off the first loan, and the interest mounts and the payments increase. It never seems to end. That's how payday lenders trap hardworking Americans in a vicious cycle of debt, while they make billions of dollars every year. Now, President Obama is fighting for tough regulations to crack down on payday predators. He wants to end the debt trap once and for all. But Florida politicians are standing in the way. They have their own quote reform plan, but it's full of holes. Under the Florida model, the average borrower pays more than 300% interest and ends up taking out nine loans a year. Worse still, one in three borrowers takes out a dozen. What gives? Predatory lenders give millions to Florida politicians. People like Representatives Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Alcee Hastings, and Dennis Ross. In fact, a new report from Allied Progress reveals that the payday lending industry has given over $2.5 million to Florida politicians since 2009, $50,000 to Debbie Wasserman Schultz, $110,000 to Alcee Hastings, $31,000 to Dennis Ross. The list goes on and on. Even the frontman pushing the Florida model is a former congressman who received $119,000 in campaign cash from predatory lenders, more than any other member of Congress from Florida. It's no surprise that these payday politicians stand with the payday predators and against President Obama. Not surprising and not right. We need real reform on predatory payday lending. Visit alliedprogress.org payday to learn more and take action.